My favorite part of playing Tarkov has to be completing the tasks. And when the game wipes, everyone has to start all over on their progression, meaning they all have to finish their task all over again. While this may seem like a bad thing to you, I agree with you, but only on a few occasions. One such occasion being this task, Chumming. It's a simple and straightforward task with one glaring issue. It's one of the earlier PvP tasks in the game, and I have horrible luck with PvP tasks because that's my weakest area when playing Tarkov. The task involves planting items, specifically free gold chains, in a single spot on three different maps. Their spots are shown here. That was the easy part for me, and before I had even decided to make this a video, I had stashed all of the chains in their spots and even managed to get one kill towards the task. Now for the rest of the PvP, taking place on one of the largest and most intricate maps in the game, Interchange, while being nighttime in-game. So here we go. I'm pausing the video right now because editing gives you a unique perspective on this game and really highlights the mistakes that you made along the way. I wasn't kidding when I said I have bad luck with PvP in this game, and this clip exhibits the main issue I have playing. I'm easily distracted. I can tell you right now, I should already be dead and back in the hideout. Why? For those of you who didn't already spot it, I'll rewind and show you. That's an entire player, sitting right there, stashing his gold chains for chumming. We're doing the same task, and I didn't even bother to check the spot he's stashing them in because... Pineapple juice. Even though I failed to spot him in the store, this guy doesn't know about my secret weapon. Hello? Hey, I'm just here to get scabs, man. All I got is an ADAR. Yeah. I thought you were a scab. You're good. Hey, I see you. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> do you need scabs, too? Sorry, you're stashing chains. I know you can't talk. <laughs> no worries, mate. Have a good one. I even said it right there. He's stashing chains, and it still doesn't occur to me that he probably needs the same player kills that I do. He had every reason to kill me, but he decides to let us both go our own ways. I just hope being nice doesn't come back to bite me later. I'll regret it if I get stuck at a 4 out of 5 kills for the task and wish I could come back to this moment and try and fight him instead. I guess we'll find out soon enough if I made a mistake here. Alright, see you later. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Good luck. <clears throat> That's probably a mistake. Now I'm going to struggle to get the last PMC ever. When the time comes for to get the last one for chumming. Dude, what? <laughs> Was that his friend? Oh my god, I just fucking... Well... I guess that makes up for being nice to the one other guy then. I literally thought that was a scav at the end, the way he just stood there. Damn it. With the aggressive playstyle not really working for me because I failed to distinguish between a player and a scav, I decided to take up a ratty playstyle in order to try and lure in my next PMC kill.
He's going above me, are you kidding me? I think he went to the back right corner to camp the car. Thinking maybe a shooter-born farmer trying to camp the car. It's gonna be a long fucking walk. I hope this doesn't make any noise. Stuff is mine. With me somehow managing to out-rat all the other rats on the map, I decided it was best to quickly reset and get into the next raid. Alright, one more PMC full. Hopefully it doesn't make me regret being nice to that guy earlier. Backed up. I backed up and he still hits me in the head. I don't think I did anything wrong in this clip. Just another example of bad Tarkov luck. My first few shots come close but don't even connect, while his first shot manages to hit me in the ear, counting as an unarmored headshot, and that's GG. On to the next. One on the pit. that audio Ow, where's the grenade audio after that well-placed nade did some damage to me I decided the best strategy I could adopt would be to play dead and see if he investigates the effects of these nades yikes okay. why did that sound so much closer it's ridiculous how many nades do these guys have in their inventory? We're up to like six. Dude, hurry up and push. You're being a pussy. The tracer definitely came from straight behind me. Unless he's cheating, I don't know. It seems like the nades were kind of close. I just don't know why he won't push me if he's cheating. He'll be able to head tap me easily. Onto the second stamina bar. Before this guy fucking pushes. Bro's being a bitch. Just die already. Could right peek him, but I'm hurt right now. I'm gonna kill you all, bastard! This guy's kinda sketchy. Like he knows I'm still alive. I bet you'll know exactly what I'm gonna swing to. Carry on, guys! Keep up! Yeah, fuck you, bitch. 
Puss. Level 48 and you're playing like a bitch? With all this? Oh my god. Oh, now I'm gonna get extra account. Good armor, good helmet. I somehow, I must have had eyes them with the SMG. The chumming is complete. If I get out at this point, it'll be a bonus. I tried being sneaky and not letting the other guy know that I was still alive and he somehow knew anyways. But it doesn't matter, chumming is complete and we can move on with the rest of the task in the game. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you want to see any more like it. Level 48 playing like that. Get what you fucking deserve.